Well, morning on a slightly stressful morning, everybody. Um, Google Chrome earlier in the week would allow me to use a webcam to go live onto Facebook, and apparently that stopped now. Um, hence the slightly different picture for our live feed this morning for thought for the day. Um, frustrating, but tech will do that. It makes life easier when it does, and when it doesn't, it makes it horrendously more complicated. So. Um, I'll get that sorted, and well, I'll need to get it sorted, and we'll uh, we'll see where we get to. Anyway, thought for the day. It's uh, an interesting time, isn't it? We've sort of just been getting into probably the routines of lockdown. Yeah, it takes about six weeks of it, and that's roughly where we've been at. And now things seem to be changing. There's uncertainty, and to look at the news and things like that, nobody seems to like um, uncertainty although it is part of life, you know, whether we like it or not. Um, and I was looking back through the text of the Prime Minister's speech, which seems to have generated a lot of heat and light. And it's interesting, one of the words he used in there, it's the first sketch of a road map. Imagine those first pencil strokes on canvas of what things might look like. There will eventually be a complete picture, but it was just an outline. It goes to Parliament today. Hopefully we will know more detail to how we progress out of this lockdown period later on with some of the harder information that people are so thirsty for. But then I'll be looking, seeing all sorts of commentaries in the news, on Facebook and the like, and then I came across a little bit of wisdom um, in a Facebook group that I'm part of, and it was from a, another vicar. And he said, we just need to think about this, because in some of these self-support groups, there's obviously a, a piece where people are supporting where others are being criticised. And you see an outpouring of love and support and all of that around those who are being unfairly judged, unfairly treated and things. And there's lots of different groups all over the place that do that. But the comment that was there was, well, treat others as we would like to be treated. The real biblical thought, love your neighbour as yourself. So when we're going around in our persona online and things like that let's just try and keep that in mind when we're writing about people's judgments people's wisdom people's decisions think about how it feels to be on the receiving end of those comments and perhaps instead of leaping out with judgments with there's some fairly crude memes out there at the moment the pictures with the words on them that are not really building anybody up, to be honest. So my, my offer is just to try and do something that builds up. That's not that people shouldn't be held to account, but let's be uplifting, let's be positive, let's build people up in this. And one of the certainties that sits at this time is the diocesan cycle of prayer. It goes round every single benefice, certainly, so groups of parishes, but parishes that are together on a routine basis. And it's my joy to say that today, the Diocese of Portsmouth cycle of prayer, which is shared with the prayers around uh, Portsmouth Diocese, is for Catherington and Clanfield. So know today, in the midst of uncertainty and hope of what an exit to lockdown might start to look like as we get more information, Know that churches around the diocese are holding us in prayer. We're surrounded by it. And in that, know that we are loved. My thoughts and prayers are with you all. And God bless. Continue to stay safe. And we wait to see what else we're able to do, what new freedoms are coming back from those that we lost before. Bye for now.